Economics was divided into two parts as macroeconomics and microeconomics in the year 1933 by Ragnar Frisch. Before this economics used to be studied as economics only. In Greek language macro means big and micro means small. Microeconomics studies the behavior of single economic units which can be individuals, families, businesses and the markets in which they operate whereas macroeconomics studies total employment, gross, domestic, gross domestic product and inflation etc. Now the question arises whether macroeconomics is just a large form of uh, microeconomics is anything good in macroeconomics context is also good in microeconomics context and vice versa so this thing we have to understand uh, with so much clarity so let's have an example to understand macroeconomics uh, and uh, microeconomics uh, what is the real difference between these two so we are going to have uh, a variable that is saving so saving uh, from your income means keeping money for your future expenditure and spending money from your income today means uh, your present expenditure this means saving is uh, equal to a future expenditure so suppose a household is increasing its future expenditure by saving more and more so it will be thought as a good thing uh, why because uh, uh, we know that a penny is saved means a penny is earned so this is what is true in uh, microeconomics uh, context so it is a good thing but if a large number of people start saving in the economy then the aggregate output will tend to fall because people will decrease their demand by saving more and as a result prices would fall and thus reducing output if the total output decreases then the national income would also decline and this is really a bad thing for a nation or an economy The reason behind this neg negative effect on output is that sellers sell more at increasing prices and reduce their supplies at decreasing prices. Now for example, uh, if you are a producer of two products, product A and product B, if product A is sold for $10 and product B is sold for $15, which one you will like to produce as a producer? think definitely uh, product B because it gives uh, more revenue this means we have to clearly understand various micro uh, economic variables and their interaction with one another and uh, while thinking in uh, microeconomic uh, context uh, for the same variable we have to see its effect on the overall economy also